welcome back, you sexy people. Last time we left off, I was just considering what to do with some of my stone figurines. Oh. I like your haircut, bruh. Uh, what to do with some of my stone figurines and what to do with some black pearls. Um, I did run around and just farm a little bit more salt. So I now have three black pearls. And I think I'm just going to drop my points into class 3 heavy armor for now. I might be a little premature because we haven't seen, uh, other than that Kraken armor or, or however you pronounce it, uh, towards the beginning of the game. We haven't really seen any other level 3 or class 3 heavy armors up to this point in the game. Um, but just so that we have it, uh, I think I'm doing pretty good with what... At least with the equipment that I have now and the weapons that I have now, we're doing pretty good on the endurance uh, front. And we're doing pretty good on the strength front with that ring that we just found. Um, there is the option that I was kind of going through um, or kind of brainstorming in my last episode to drop some points into magic so that we could at least cast the light spell. So we could fight with our uh, two-handed sword in dark areas. I mean, I guess we could if we don't use a torch, but I'm not sure how comfortable I am fighting in an area without, able, without being able to see anything. So with that said, let's go for class 3 heavy armor. Uh... not letting me do that right now. Do I already have that? No. No, I... Don't? Did I already... I think I already... When did I get that? <laughs> How am I just realizing that now? Okay. <laughs> Um, magical spells and incantations. All right, so this is something else where I have to figure out now. Class one prayer. Focus cost 60. Cast class one spells and incantations. One, two... I don't know, do I really want to do that? I can't believe I already got this. I don't even remember doing that, but whatever. Let's make our way to class four then. Um, and then I think it's wise to consider, especially if I'm going to stick with two-hand weapons, to at least be able to cast uh, level one spells. So, with that said, is that anywhere else? You know, it must be there. Cast class one spells. Well, that said it was a uh, did that say spell? Prayer. That says prayer. Cast class one. Damn it! Well, I guess we're using this. Or I can't remove it. Awesome. Remove it. Yeah, I should have, uh, should have looked at that a bit more carefully. One, two, three, four. It's gonna cost four pearls. Now three. Alright, alright. So that was a bit longer than I would have liked to do that. Um, there was the area near the Jester. We have the Bandit's Pass. I'm kind of interested to see what's over this. Oh! Let's do one more thing. Let's put a blacksmith here. It might be stupid, but 
I want to see if he has stuff here. No, it's the same stuff. Okay, now I know. Let us upgrade. Oh, I need a thousand salt and a soldier's poem. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> My battery level is low. We can't be having that. Oh, oh, I'm getting too old to be picking up shit. Oh, oh the mustachio isn't what it used to be. I'm upgrading this thing again. Watch me find, like, a really sweet weapon. And I need, like, a shitload of soldiers' poems for it, and I just use it on this, but whatever. It's my first time playing through. I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, so there was this way. I don't know if I can make that jump. Okay, I can. Traps, obviously. Link of Fire and Sky. Interesting. Vertigo brand. All right, yeah, and that's what we got there. Link of fire and sky. Fire and sky are powerful elements. Casting one over the other may affect the caster with dangerous elemental imbalance. Because of this danger, acolytes of the elemental magics are often given protection in the form of rings like this. Nullifies elemental imbalance. Now, that's not something... I know anything about <laughs> or that is something I know nothing about is would probably be the proper grammar there um all right so we're presented with another choice here and that is do we upgrade our armor or do we hold out in hopes that we find some level three armor and then we're presented with another option. Do we go the way where we found the Jester's armor? Or do we go the way of the Bandit's Pass? I am leaning towards Bandit's Pass, honestly. We can actually one-shot the Katniss Everdeen enemies now. Which is nice. We have so much gold, but I I guess I could put the merchant there too and see what he has. I don't know if they're if it's different for uh Already? Well, in case we do that again. <laughs> parkour, man. It's that parkour. Yeah, there we go. There goes all my golds. Whatever. Oh, yeah. You can do it. Oh, yeah. I thought this was where the bandit's pass was. All right. I guess not. We got another charm here. Leech's HP. Um, I don't think that's useful right now, but it may be more useful the further we get. <laughs> that was a long jump. 1700 gold for that respawn. Damn, man. Alright, we went that way. There was nothing there. I'm wondering if we just take this to the Bandit's Pass. There's a, There was a few things I wanted to do, actually. Let's start by going to the Shivering Shore. Although I'm not too sure I wanted to do that because now I can't fast travel back, but whatever. There was quite a few things I wanted to do. Really? He hit me with that? Anyways, there was an area up here that was intriguing. Not gonna let you get a hit off on me, buddy. You got that stupid ground pound doggy attack. What? 
get out of here. Should be a ladder here, yep. I love this little jester's hat I have on. So sexy. <laughs> I thought that dead body was an enemy. Holy shit. This increased item find ring is leading to a lot of pickups. I'm not sure if it's having that big of an effect, but it seems like it is. Oh my god, these things are... Oh, look at that. Oh! Okay. Do I have to go... Interesting. Do I have to jump? Oh no, I have to go in here. Ah! Um... Sh oh, hello! Okay. I was wondering when I'd run into another one of you. Oh, armor, armor, armor! Oh, damn it! I can actually wear the armor now. And I think it's something I want to do. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't match, which kind of sucks. Because <laughs> fashion soles and everything, but... I didn't realize I got the Class 3 heavy armor. Um, I'm some sort of idiot or something. Uh, sparkling ring, what do you do for me? Increase healing power. Okay, I'm not... Don't really need that right now. Mimic? Nope. Cavaliers, sabatons, and curis. And gloves and stuff. Class 4 heavy armor? Okay, then. I guess opening up the path to the next level of heavy armor is, was definitely the right choice, because that's probably what we're going to be going for at this point. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it weighs a lot, so I'm hoping that my, uh, my endurance measures up to that, but it might not. We'll have to see. Black Pearl. Okay, nice. I'm glad I came back to explore this area. We got another- Oh! Jesus! Don't scare me like that, dude. Can I drop down here? No. Can't. Oh! Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm glad I explored that area. I was hoping that... That Kraken, or however you pronounce it... Um... Would've gave me something a little bit more, but... Holy shit, that scared the living balls out of me. Hello. Goodbye. I'm trying to remember where some of the other ones were. I know there was one near the Village of Smiles somewhere. I think it was actually... This way. Not this way. Actually, probably could have went that way, but... It was this way. Yeah, there it is. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Please be class three. Oh, class two. Okay. Okay. Let's compare it against some of the other class two stuff we have. Same weight. How's the helmet? Ho 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 ho! Oh, yes. All right. It's better in slash defense. Unfortunately, it weighs the same. 
And the slash defense, 48 to 42. 22 strike defense, 26 on... I'm wondering if I should at least... I like this armor. I think it looks cool with that. I'm wondering if I should at least wear the gloves, maybe. To have better balance. I'm not really sure the what the balance that does. But let's put on the gloves. And we'll leave it at that. We'll have a, a amalgamation. Amalgamation of different armors. Um... Oh, yeah, that was kind of stupid. All right, I'm trying to remember. There might have been something in the Village of Smiles. So, uh, how many stone guides do I have? Do I have two more? I do have two more, but there may be areas later on in the game that I want to use that with so I actually think we'll just run there is there something down here it was locked wasn't it yeah interesting I haven't found that yet do you have anything new now that I have like new stuff you do was this here before maybe it was I don't think I remember being here before, though. Anyways. Um, maybe we can try to fight this armor might. I don't know, I just got like 100 things going through my brain right now. But I still haven't been able to kill this thing. No matter how hard I try... Can never seem to kill it. I really want to know what it gives me. <laughs> Damn you, Jackass. Oh. 600 salt and that appears to be it no secrets all right well that's kind of a letdown don't really know what else i was expecting but all right can you get up there bro there you go is there a secret here? No. 600 salt is nothing to laugh at, but... It's hoping for something more. Still takes two hits to kill you. That's interesting. I just want to go back to the Village of Smiles. See if there was any obelisks I was missing. Might end up checking, like, everywhere. <laughs> I remember there being some somewhere. No, there wasn't any down here. There's a trap there. Some puppies here. Oh my god. Oh, that's just ridiculous. I don't think there was anything there. Alright, game. It's enough. Ow. Is there, though? I think I might have already fought him. Alright. 
There was this place. There was no obelisk. Which is intriguing. Yeah. Oh shit, these guys respawn. Okay. That's interesting. Jesus! Well, they give us, they drop some good loot. I have to say. I have no idea how to get up there. I thought there was an obelisk here. I guess I was wrong. Must be like. Oh, can I actually jump from there? Is that what that is? Yeah, I think I can actually jump from... No. I got excited for a second. Alright. Enough of that. There was that woman there. Queen of Smiles. Blacksmith, the guide. Ah, oh, the rewards are so good on that, uh, on that one that I found that I want to find more. I remember seeing a bunch more. I know one was in the bandit's pass. I don't remember this area. Oh, this is the Queen of Smiles, okay. All right, yeah, that was, this was this area where I got the charm for my sword. I wonder if that leads. Uh, probably not. Aha! I knew there was another one. Oh! I haven't been here before. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. No idea what kind of shit I'm about to get myself into. But I'm sure it'll be fun, as always. Alright, I seem to have hit a dead end here. Whoa! Okay! Alright. So that's how I get down there, but... That's how I get through this area? Yeah, 
Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any other way to get through this area. Damn, dude. They have to kill these assholes. Oh, he dropped something. Shinies! <laughs> Give me the shinies! Uh, I need the shinies. Get over here! Screw you, man. Ain't got time for your shenanigans. Yeah, don't see any. I don't see anything that would uh help me out here. Maybe there's some other skill that I need, maybe. And I need to come back here later. Maybe this was just a way out. This might be a shortcut to get out of this place is what I'm thinking because that drop is pretty big over there so I'm wondering that doorway on the other side the doorway up here with the ladder going down That light spell would really help. It was this way. Oh, you're right. You needed that earth stuff. Then we could jump down here. I could fight this guy. I remember this. You damn kids and your music. Hey, there's a thing up there. Pale charm. Okay. Increases attack reach. Oh. Alright. Attack is 50.9 with this. It would be 40... I don't really... I mean, our reach is pretty far with the sword already. I'm thinking it might be crazy with... Oh, so it, we might have already beat that guy at some point. Yeah. Okay. That's not even worth it. I have a hard time remembering things. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, might have just ran all the way. Are you following me, Batman? Rachel! Rachel! I remember I saw these dudes down here and I freaked out. <laughs> and I didn't keep climbing. <laughs> there could be something down here. This looks like boss fight territory. Well met, Saltborn. I am not like you, born of salt. I am born of that life that flickers like flame. I am summoned by the Song of Souls, spelled in candlelight, written by the drowning Saltborn. Your world is cold and stifling. My life is fleeting here. Okay. To be Saltborn is to be a dying fragment of eternity. To be born of light is to be truly living. 
It's so ephemeral, that word. <laughs> to be salt born, okay, yes. Oh, you have some sweet light armor, huh? Damn. I am not corrupted. I have no sin. Okay. That's good to know that you're down here. Do you have any secrets that you're keeping from us? It's good to know in case we're corrupted or we do something really stupid at some point. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm wondering... What in the Jesus H was that area where I was running along the walls? Oh! Do you did follow me! Jesus! That dude did follow me! What an ass clown! I wonder if I can go to this ledge right here. See that? See that ledge right there? No. Hey, you gotta admit, that was a pretty good idea. Uh, that would be an awesome secret, too. But, whatever. So now I'm really intrigued. How the hell... I was walking on the top of that wall. Now I need to know. Maybe I could just drop down? I really need that light spell. Prayer, whatever you call it. What happens if I were to just to jump? Probably nothing good. Okay. That's only 4,900 salt. Whatever. That's probably a level up, but... Alright. So, we found a couple of obelisks. One that I'm not too certain of. A couple that gave us access to some areas. Um, but yeah, I think we'll... Maybe go to the watching woods to see if there was any there. And if there wasn't... Oh wow, this is uh... This is the um... Beginning of the game. Um... If there isn't any there... Then we'll just continue on our passage on our quest through Bandit's Pass. And we'll go from there. So, I hope you are enjoying the playthrough everybody. I will see you in the next episode. Stay sexy.